Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make this super white frosting and how to decorate a wedding cake. I have a white 12 inch cake board and applying some buttercream frosting and my 10 inch cake on top and I'm filling it in with some uh, cream cheese frosting. I'll have the recipe for this in the description box below. Stack up all your layers. I used two 10 inch cakes cut in half. Make sure it's all nice and level and centered and then using a spatula to press the extra um, frosting against the cake. Here I'm creating the buttercream frosting on the outside. This is actually Crisco vegetable shortening, icing sugar, milk and clear vanilla extract. Beat that together for about two minutes and it should look something like that. And I'll have the recipe in the description box below. Now using that frosting I'm creating the crumb coat to trap in any crumbs. Starting at the top and then adding a decent amount onto the side of the cake as well. Smooth that down and then clean the top by bringing that extra lip of frosting to the center of the cake. I popped my cake into the freezer for about 10 minutes while I worked on the second tier. Now this is a 7 inch cake following the exact same steps. And again popping that back into the freezer for another 10 minutes. And I'm creating now the final layer of frosting, so I'm adding a decent amount onto the side of the cake. And it doesn't have to be too neat because we'll be texturizing the outside. So just make it nice and even and clear up the top. And then using your spatula, keeping your hand nice and steady, let the turntable do all of the work. So you'll start on the line just above the last one that you created. And I like to clear up my spatula in between the lines as well, just keeps it a bit neater. Once you reach the very, very top, bring that lip of frosting to the center because you'll tend to raise the buttercream a little bit around the edges. And you guessed it, back into the freezer for 10 minutes. Follow the exact same steps again with your top tier. And I'll note quickly, there is a two cake boards on this cake. There's a seven inch cake board, which is exactly the same size as a cake, and then the cake board that you can actually see right here. That'll be important in the next step. So I have five um, extra thick straws to support the weight of the cake. It's cut flush with the surface of my um, bottom tier cake. Release the top tier from the cake board and there is a seven inch cake board underneath this top cake. So that's very important. There needs to be a cake board the same size or a little bit smaller under your top tier. And I'm creating a bit of a line to stop the um, so you can't tell where the one cake stopping the on begins. And I've also created a shell border to hide that seam as well. Pipe another border for the bottom tier as well. And then we can start decorating with our flowers. These are called exquisite white roses. And I've applied some wire at the bottom of each rose to help tuck it into the cake. You can decorate with some greenery. What I really love to do is decorate with some... Um, GYP flowers, gyp, I don't know, I think it's called gyp or gypsy flowers. And um, they're very beautiful, very white and kind of like baby's breath. But for this particular cake, I just use the white roses. Pop in your cake topper and you're done. Next, you decorate a wedding cake or an engagement cake using super, super white buttercream frosting. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And I'll catch you guys again next week. If you like the little cake toppers, I do sell those on my website, rosiesdesertspot.com.